boxing to all. A very merry boxing to you. Our boxing is a thing that makes balls do the truth. A very merry boxing. A very merry boxing. A very merry boxing to all. Hello there, Funky Bunch, and welcome back to our A Very Merry Unboxing channel. Um, today, I'm going to do something a little bit different. It was something that I actually saw on Facebook, a post of, and I wanted to see if it would work. So I came home, actually tried it out, and it did work. So I thought it would be kind of cool to, to show all you guys. Now, I do want to give proper credit. The person who actually put this original tutorial out... Um, if you go on to uh, YouTube and type in Mr. Who's the Boss, um, you'll find his page and he has his original demo up there. Um, and there's a, a link to the demo site for um, the hologram that you can actually showcase. So the, the um, first thing that I want to show you, you guys are going to need your smartphone. Um, and when we made our first one, uh, we made it this size. It's a little bit bigger. We, I didn't take down the measurements, so I just kind of marked it out as like a um, uh, trapezoid shape or an isosceles triangle with the top cut off, the decahedron. And um, we, after it was all put together, we took it in and watched, and we could barely see it in the light. So he says it in the video to turn off the lights and stuff, so we did go in and uh, do it in the office with the lights off. It was amazing. It was, it was really cool. But it stayed really low on this one because it's not wide enough. So this is basically what the shape looks like that you'll get, um, but it's incorrect measurements. So the I'm measurements... I'm going to show them a little closer just because it was hard to see. It's just like this little... Yeah, I don't know if I'm saying it right or if Mark is. It's either a trapezoid or a dodecahedron. Anyway, almost pyramid is what you're looking at. Yeah. Almost pyramid. So he actually um, uses uh, a CD case. When we tried that, it just it cracked all over the place. It did not work. Um, and so Carrie had gotten some plastic from um, one of our boys. Uh, earphone was that the it it was was their, their, their earphones ear um, yeah. for Joshua's drums. So we that's what we made this out of, but we ran out of it. So the thing that Carrie was able to find, which is really the same thickness as this, was shrinky dink um, plastic. That's that's all this is, just shrinky dink plastic. So the first thing you're going to want to do on a piece of paper, graph paper would probably be really good to do this mm -hmm. with. Um, but you need a piece of paper and a ruler, and you're going to do the, the bottom. Do it on the, other side. the bottom of this is going to be one centimeter across. The top is going to be five centimeters across, and then the sides are three centimeters across. So you know our original bottom wasn't too far off. It just didn't end up being wide enough. Yeah, the bottom for was... For the image to float higher. The bottom was really, really close. Yeah. And so... Really, in fact, I think the bottom is a centimeter. Good job, honey. Check yeah, it's, that out. It's very It's close a centimeter. So, Good job, honey. Good eye. So, um, I'm going to do just one centimeter. Wow, ours was way too big. <clears throat> yep. Look at that. So, just to show you guys, the little one is what it should be. The big one is what we did. And you know, when you think about it, it doesn't really matter too, too much because all that we're doing is cutting off the excess, mm -hmm. really. It's just to us, it looked like it wasn't floating in the middle because it was so tall it yeah. couldn't get up there. So then, after you measure, just cut this little guy out. And then I will trace this around on the shrink -a dink and after I get all of those out, then you just tape them together, and we have some uh, semi-clear tape that we use. I wish we had the clear-clear, but you can see. 
No, maybe you can't. Yeah, you can see. Semi clear. But you know what? It doesn't matter because where the image is, is like in here. Yeah. So you don't even see the sides when you're in a dark room looking at the image. It's really cool. Honey, this one actually will probably sit more steadily on the phone because this one's a little warped. Yes, yeah. I don't know why it got warped, but. Not sure. So, let's get this marked out real quick. And then, what I will do, guys, is I will finish marking and cutting these out. And then I will be back to show the you the assembly of it. But, it's basically just, just that. Just drawing these little, little guys onto the shrink -a -dink paper. And then I'm gonna cut them out. So give me a moment and I will be back. So there we go. We've got uh, all four of them drawn out on the shrinky dink. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, all four are there. Then just going to quickly cut these guys out. super glue it as well but um, I think that would be Carrie mentioned probably be quite a bit difficult so I just take a little tape and clip it off just mark it onto the edge here and then I take the other edge and I line it up and after it's lined up I just stick them together and then I do the same for the other ones. <laughs> hmm. This one is cut a little off. Cut a little bit older. Yeah, that's okay. So, get my third part piece, purse piece, put together. And I'm going to put the fourth one. 
And then I think I'm going to need a little bit of piece of tape for the fifth one. So, um, uh, there we go. Just like that. Okay. So now, see, just putting it together. Just need to put the fourth piece on, the little piece of tape on the edge there. And then it will be good to go. And then I will take it and I will go into the office and I will show you guys what it looks like. It's, it's way too bright out here. Just it does really need to be cool. it does need to be a darker room that you do this in. Yeah, it will not show up if the room is not darkened. It shows up bare. You you have to really kind of strain to see it if you do not do it in a darkened room. And the nice thing with the shrinky dinks is that it uh, it doesn't crack like trying to cut a, a CD case would. Um, so and it I think the that's same a, darn thing. yeah, same thing. And before I take this in there, I'm going to turn on Carrie's phone, and I'm just going to look here and see. There we go. So, let me take a quick look at this and see it this way. Oh, yeah. Is it better? Well, I mean, it's, it's still low, but... I can't see it. Look. Oh, it's still low. It's still low. So I don't know. Maybe show them both. Yeah. So let me let me uh, go into the office. Hang on a second, guys, and I'll take you. Uh, taking a tour of the house. Taking a tour of the house. Going down the hallway. Taking a tour of the house. We'll come down here. And I will turn this this way. You're now looking at our hall closet wall, so bear, sorry about that. But uh, I think this yes. might be really good. So one. I'm going to show you the one we made first, and then I will show you the one that we just changed. Go in the office with the board so they can see it too. Ah. Because it's darker. It's Come on in no, it's, it's dark right here, honey. So. Hang on. So, this is the one we made. Look out, Joshua. And I don't know if you guys can see or not, but can you see the hummingbird? Yeah. They can see it. And there's a wind or something blowing here. Do you see how how it looks? The hummingbird just it literally is. There's a little fish swimming. Is this the new one? No. This is the original one. There's just a little fish swimming. And there's a jellyfish. And then let me show you guys the one we just made. Which is this one here. And this demo goes to a bunch of different things. This is a shark. Is that a proper sized one? But I can't get it to, there we go. Uh, so this is what I it looks like, see guys. Something. Can't wait. And here's another jellyfish. You can see it floating. Well, it looks like upside down. Yeah. Well, let's turn it upside down and see. I don't think it'll work. 
you see it, it turns the, the jellyfish upside down. So you have to keep it this way. And then here's another a little beta fish. Okay. So there's a little beta fish. How cool is this? And it's it's so simple to do. And I don't know, maybe the, the volume of the phone might be moving that around. So I'm gonna turn the volume off. How does and volume move? Because the it vibrates. Vibrates the phone. So Volume here's a, um, or that was a little x-ray fish before. And so here is a little beta fish. How awesome is that? And it's such a simple thing to do. So you can make your own little holograms. It's just awesome. Look at that. The world. And so I have to give a major shout out to Mr. Who's the Boss for showing this. I mean, it's, it's really cool. They have like this little wisp right here. They also have um, uh, fireworks and the fireworks are awesome. They've got, look, a little person, a little two people dancing. I mean, it's, this is just, it is awesome. And up, it went out of focus again. I don't know if I can get it to go back in focus or not. There it goes. Uh, he and she rings, and I think the uh, I think the fireworks are right after this. Yeah, look at this. You have fireworks in the palm of your hand, actually shooting up and exploding in holograms. So, so cool. So, what do you guys think about this? I mean, do you think it's pretty cool? Would you be uh, making your own or not? Let us know in the comments below. And if you do make your own, let us know where the video is and we'd love to watch it. So, <laughs> ah! thank you all and we hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I know that it was really cool for us to see, and I just had to see if it was real or not um, before showing you guys, because if it was real, I, I really did want to uh, showcase it as, as true. So there you go, truth. You have it live here on the camera. Peace out, everybody, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you next time on the next installment of A Very Merry Unboxing. Bye-bye.